Spatial Audio in Logic Pro 10.7 allows anyone with Logic and a pair of headphones to mix in Dolby Atmos surround sound. You can even quickly convert your stereo mixes to spatial audio. So first I'll convert this stereo mix to spatial audio, and then I'll explain how all of this works. To convert a project to spatial audio, go up to Mix, and then go down to Dolby Atmos. This will open up your audio project settings, where you can change the spatial audio setting from off to Dolby Atmos. This will prompt you that the project is being converted to 7.1.2 surround sound. So I'll click OK, close out the window, and now I'm working in spatial audio. And you'll see that all of the channels in the mix have been converted to surround output channels with surround panners. You'll also see that the stereo output plus master VCA combination that you typically see in your stereo mixes in Logic has been converted to a single master output with the Dolby Atmos plugin loaded up. The Dolby Atmos plugin offers several different monitoring formats, including 2.0, which is just stereo, multiple surround options for 5.1, 7.1, 5.1.4, and 7.1.4 immersive sound. For all of these surround monitor formats, you'd need to have a surround array of speakers in your studio. The speaker arrays to monitor these formats can be very complicated, specialized, and expensive. But with Logic 10.7, there's also this binaural option for headphone monitoring. What this does is it converts all of your spatial audio elements in your mix to a format that can be monitored on headphones. Binaural post-processing essentially means that the channels are processed and filtered in a way to mimic the natural physics of the human ear. Your ears are capable of sensing sound in front of you, to your sides, behind you, and above and below you because of the natural filtering that occurs due to the external structures of your ears, as well as the time delay between your ears. Binaural monitoring with the Atmos plugin mimics this natural filtering, but in headphones. So unless you actually have a surround speaker setup, anytime you work with spatial audio and logic on headphones, you must use the binaural monitoring format. Otherwise you won't hear any of the spatial audio effects. So make sure you wear headphones while watching the spatial audio portions of this course. So with binaural selected and headphones on, I'll reposition some of the elements in my mix. I'll start with some of these guitar parts here. With the surround panner, I can localize things to be more distant, closer, and I can also make them more spread out or more narrow. And I can also localize sound all around my head. I can even make this sound like it's behind me. And in spherical mode, I can mimic elevation. So when the panner is closer to the center, this will make the guitar sound like it's above my head. I'll space out both of these guitar parts in a way that just wasn't possible in previous versions of Logic with a stereo mix. Sometimes softer elements in a dense mix can kind of get buried in the front of the mix. And in stereo, you're working on a completely lateral plane, so it's easy for elements in a mix to get buried. However, with spatial audio, I can place elements behind me to create even more space and separation. <laughs> So now with these guitars, I just have this big wall of sound surrounding my head. And again, I'm able to monitor all of these spatial effects on headphones. 
And the surround panner is not the only way to position elements in a spatial mix. The new 3D object panner is a brand new way to position objects in a mix, and it allows you to easily position things around your head and also mimic elevation. Now the surround panner and the 3D object panner might seem very similar at first, but they actually have completely different purposes, and I'll explain this in more detail in the next video.